Hey guys, Machine here. If you're new to the Avalanche ecosystem and you need to connect to Avalanche games and dApps, we're gonna show you how to get started with MetaMask, a free Web3 wallet. We're gonna show you step by step. Stay tuned. First thing you wanna go to is go to MetaMask official website. This is one of the most popular Web3 wallets out there. It's completely free. If someone says, you know, you need to pay money, it's a scam, don't click it. Uh, anyways, links down in the description. So go to metamask.io. So once you get on here, uh, we do recommend using a desktop uh, PC or Mac to download Metamask. It's basically a browser extension on Chrome, but it also works on basically any browser that can have Chrome plugins like Brave, you know, Microsoft Edge, Firefox. And we also do recommend using a desktop because a lot of Avalanche D apps and games, they only support the web version. So go ahead and click download now. And once you click it, you can choose Chrome and then install MetaMask for Chrome. So once it's installed, go ahead and go to the upper right corner of your browser and you'll see this little puzzle, right? Which is the extensions. And then in this case, I already have MetaMask pinned, but you can pin it or unpin it depending on your preference. I will have it pinned so that I can easily access it here. Now, once you click the little Fox icon, the first time it'll jump you to this new window. So it says, welcome to MetaMask. So here it says new to MetaMask. Uh, we will assume that you don't have one and we'll just go step by step on how you can set up your free wallet. So go ahead and create, create a wallet. Help us improve MetaMask, this is up to you. Uh, we'll just do no thanks. And create a password. So this password is basically like any password for your social media or digital account. Basically used to unlock your MetaMask each time you log in. So make sure to read the terms of service or terms of use. Go ahead and click create. Now this little video explains about what is a Web3 wallet in the first place, you know, how to secure a wallet. Long story short, I'm gonna summarize it for you. If you lose your seed phrase, which is like your master backup, you know, phrase to recover your MetaMask, nobody can help you, right? There's no banks, no Facebook, no company can retrieve this for you because that's the decentralized nature of Web3. You own your wallet, you own your assets. So once you really understand that, click next, you'll see the secret recovery phrase. Make sure no one's peeking behind you. Make sure you don't type this into your notes on your iPhone or wherever, because this is the most sensitive uh, password, right? Or they call it a secret recovery phrase. If you lose your MetaMask, you get locked out, you forget your password, or you want to recover your wallet on a different device, this secret recovery phrase is the one way to do so. So it's very, very important that you share this with nobody except for yourself and you store this in a very secure way. One way to do this is to write it down and hide it somewhere, right? That's very safe and probably make multiple copies that you know will be safe. Another one would be to put it in a password manager, although this is not the most safest way. If you really trust your password manager, you could do this if you plan to use this wallet only for like, you know, pocket change, small things. The level of security and convenience is always a trade-off, so this is up to you. So once you understand how serious it is to secure this secret recovery phrase, go ahead and click, click here to reveal, reveal secret phrase. It should be a set of random 12 words. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is just to write it down because it will ask you to enter the secret phrase and check if you actually remember it. Okay, so once you wrote it down, go ahead and click next. And basically it's gonna ask you to input the secret recovery phrase and the order does matter. So make sure wherever you're saving this, uh, label it right one through 12. So if you entered it correctly, it'll show you congratulations and that's it. It's really as simple as that. So you're gonna click all done. Now it doesn't stop here because by default, MetaMask connects to the Ethereum blockchain. So think of, okay, there's many blockchains, Ethereum, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, you name it. MetaMask is just kind of like a portal where it interacts, connects you, you know, to these various blockchains. So when you want to connect to the Avalanche blockchain, we have to do a little bit of configuration, which we're gonna show you right now. So on the top right of your MetaMask, you'll see it says Ethereum mainnet. It basically just means the main network of Ethereum, which is the default that it's connected to. Go ahead and click on the dropdown and you'll see add network. And then you'll be taken to this page where you're basically gonna copy and paste information. 
Now, where do you get this information? Links down below, you can go to the official Avalanche you know, network website and it'll tell you basically a guide on how to do this. Long story short, look for the bullet points that says like network name, new RPC, and so on. So you're gonna take every single one of these values and copy and paste exactly as is. One helpful tip is in the Block Explorer URL, it says optional, but pretty much paste it in because it will help you a lot by having this. Okay, so when you're done, click Save, and then you will see if you did correctly, the default icon that shows would be zero AVAX. So once you have this, the another way to verify if you're on the correct network, or if you want to switch between networks within your same MetaMask, is to click on this upper right, and you'll see, for example, okay, we see Ethereum, and now we're on Avalanche Network. So that's it guys, now you're ready to start connecting your MetaMask wallet to any Avalanche Web3 app. What other tutorials would you like to see? Comment down below, we love to know. Guys, for the latest news and updates, be sure to follow our social media, including Twitter, Facebook, Telegram groups, and TikTok. There you go, follow us. Links down below.